we're finally in the patch now so let's start pulling out some of these beauties some of these um are not really full size but as you can see it's going to seed already so but it's still going to taste all right so i'm not too worried but i've got something else planned for this patch so let's get some of these ones up So far the harvest is turning out great. As you see we've got a couple small ones but I'm not too worried about it because I've actually tasted some of them and they're pretty nice so not too worried. Not too worried. And it's weird because you find some so look for instance look how big that stalk is compared to that one but look at the head sizes. And it's weird but it literally all tastes nice anyway. Very strong flavoured. merged together yep that is crazy so as you can see in the end we got about two baskets full so normally what I would do is we just eat it. I wouldn't do anything to it because it doesn't last that long. But as you can see, I grew quite a bit this year. So what I'm going to do is some's going to go inside, some are going to dry out. Um, you can dry it out. I've never done it before, but I know what you do is all you got to do is put some chicken wire down, put them on top, just let the sun dry it out. So I'm going to do some of that with some of these ones and um, I make a hot chili sauce that I use a lot of onions in. So I'm going to do something like that. But the video's not done now. Now we've got to prep the patch for something else.
So as you can see, we've cleared that all up, got it prepped, and gave it a deep bed of mulch. The first thing we're gonna do, I wanna plot out, is two sunflowers. One at either end. This mulch, but. Doing lovely, tickle the roots a bit. Is did anyone guess what we're putting in there? I'll let you know now. Putting some watermelons. I grew quite a bit of these, so I want to get them in the ground now. I was actually going to plant them in the bucket. I planted some of the front that's sort of left over. So what I've done is get these out. As you see, this used to be the, the onion patch. So I added another bucket of uh, not bucket, another bag of compost. So should be good to go. So all I'm going to do is just throwing them randomly. And I'm not really. I've not really grown um, watermelons before, so I don't really know the spacing, but this is pretty much all trial and error. So one thing to me, I don't mind failing. So, cause every time you fail, you learn, so it's fine. So I won't do it too close together, but I won't do it way too far apart. This one there. Let's put another one. Let's put another one here. See they've grown pretty long. Should be here, should be fine. Oh, move the slug out the way. If you know we run our next thing, heavy dose of water. Uh, two weeks since I planted it out. As you see, some of these um, watermelons have died. So I think what the problem is, I don't think it likes a deep mulch. So what we're going to do is, we're going to rip off some of this mulch. And as you see, there's a couple of watermelons here still. But we've got all this patch, um, all this half patch empty. And as you know, I don't like empty spaces. So we're going to put something else here. And I think I've got just the thing for that. Let's remove all this mulch first. Now we've got that all clear, what we're going to do is, I've got some pumpkins here that I grew. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put the, mix the pumpkins in with the watermelons. It's quite a big patch, so we should be alright. Worms in this patch. Put one here. Put 
another one over there. With a fairly decent amount of space in between each other. You can see all of them's got the um, TP things. They work out so well. Just like so. So yeah, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. As you can see, there's gonna be a lot more transplanting videos coming up. And there's a harvest video I just dropped. There's gonna be another harvest video coming very soon because everything is growing nicely. And I've got a banger video for next time. But for now, catch you in the next one. Bye bye.